this is uh, Reggie. I want to make a quick video um, about um, the mentality of uh, some blacks. And you have to realize that life is like a chess game. And whether you wanted to believe that or not, you have to know how to play the game. You have to know the rules. Play within the rules of the game. Um, I drive a Prius, 2008 Prius. Okay. Yes. And when I meet women and I tell them what I drive, first thing they say, what a black man doing driving a Prius? I mean, I, I mean, guys, you know, they say the same thing. And I basically, I tell them the obvious is to say gas. Um, and anybody who sat in the Prius know that inside, within the Prius, um, it's regular. You could, you know, I'm 5'10". So it fit me fine. Um, although it might look small on the outside, but a Prius is actually groomy. It's like a, a regular sedan, um, for size wise, leg room and everything. But the real, but one of the real reasons why I drive a Prius is that there's though I did get the car for gas, but there's though that there's a lot of killings with blacks. Um, you know, because of how political correct you might think that you are, how much you think you know, um, how much you are for a been for Republican or Democrat, how much you are against Trump or for Trump, these racist white cops don't give a damn about that. They don't know that when they meet you, they don't care about that. All they care about is trying to lock you up for profit and trying to kill you and trying to murder you. So, me being the person that I am and I know I have two men that I'm grazing and I know that one day they will be driving my cars. They will they will have their license and, and they will be traveling on the road without me. So, to eliminate the um, to eliminate the um, harassment by cops the killings by cops or whatever the cops might do or trying to lock them up yes, I'm going to buy a Prius something that most blacks wouldn't, wouldn't dare to, to think that another black man would drive and these cops would be disarmed with the hostility when they pull you over now, let's just hear me out one day I was coming from Virginia I was driving. I was speeding. Yes, I was speeding. I was the only one on the road. I was speeding. I'm trying to get home. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get home. Okay? So, you know, Virginia, um, it's Commonwealth for one thing. They will lock you up for anything. Um, and the state trooper, Virginia state trooper, was up in the cut. But, see, they be so far up in the cut, you don't see them until later. So, I'm driving down, and I'm, and I'm doing like 74, 75. I see him. Now... Hitting your brakes is a myth of guilt, okay? Hitting your brakes is a myth of guilt. But, then so I have a Prius, when you take your foot off the gas, this car will slow down because it's there to reserve gas, okay? So, when he pulled up from the cut, I immediately took my foot off the gas and allowed him to catch up with me. I didn't speed up, I didn't try to hit the brake to slow down or whatever. So I took my foot off the gas, so he pulled up on me kind of quick, so he didn't realize what was going on, okay? That's trick number one that I that I do. If a police pull up on me, I take my foot off the gas. I don't hit the brakes, I don't do anything, I take my foot off the gas. So when he pulled me over, he hit the lights, he got behind me, hit the lights, I pulled over. He asked me, do you know, you know, their question, the reason why I pulled you over. I'm like, no, not really. I, I No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Being respectful is another way of, of not um, getting them hostile. You gotta remember, you're behind enemy's line. So therefore, anything they can, anything they say or can conjure up against you, it will happen. So therefore, I'm driving the Prius, I'm black, I'm being polite, and I'm a black male. First, being a black man is, is, is going against me anyway. But anyway, so I gave him my license and registrations. Um, actually, to be honest with you, I didn't have a current um, registration, but I gave him one that was like one year expired. This is in Virginia now, remember. This is in Virginia, the Commonwealth. Now, he comes back, look at my car, he comes back or whatever, 
He said, Mr. Sherman, just this next time just slow down. Okay. Now, if I would have had tinted windows, okay, an SUV or a special car with tinted windows, 24 inch rims or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Smoking weed or not smoking weed or whatever. But if you'd have saw that he would have automatically stereotyped me as being a hostile black man in his mind, whether it be um, subconsciously or consciously, he would have stereotyped me as a black man. Now, he would have came up with a reason to lock me up. But Benzo, I'm telling you, Benzo, I'm driving a Prius and I know the games. I know the game of chess. This is a game. I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm going through the, I'm going through the thing. I'm going through the bridge. This is a game. I'm trying to tell you. This is why I drive a Prius. Because I'm I'm smarter than that. Okay? I'm not I'm not against no one who wanna drive an expensive car or whatever. Wanna have a expensive car, wanna have all the rims or whatever. I don't need them things to to show to show how successful I am. I believe that people that that um well most people that got all them things, they don't have a penny in the bank. You you have to be smart about your money. Um, one thing, here's the difference between rich people and um, and poor people. Poor people have car notes. Rich people have cars without a car note. And they will get, in other words, if you study any billionaires or whatever, they will have cars that's, that's paid for or like Warren Buffett, he buy, he, he drives the same um, car with no car note that they've been driving for years until the wheels would fall off their car. Now, people that would laugh at you, ah, this, you got a Prius, you got this and this and that, that let me know that they don't know a goddamn thing and that I can associate with them because you basing your friendship or based on what could be some type of relationship off of what I have or for what I drive, not you're looking at the material things. You're looking at the outside things. You're not looking at what's inside here, okay? The education, the smart, the wits that I had. And I care less to explain and try to show you how much I know or try to let you know that, hey, no, I'm a smart dude. I'm this and this now. I'll let you believe whatever you want to believe. If you think that um, I'm stupid for having a Prius, go right ahead. But I know if my son drive my Prius out Virginia with his friends and everything, and if the cops pull him over, most likely he will come home more safer than a black guy driving with his friends with tinted windows, rims, um, blasting music, or whatever. He have a better chance of coming home to me. I don't know the mind state of these racist cops. I don't know the mind states of these racist um, state troopers. Not saying that all of them are, but what I'm telling you, by the way things are going, he have a better chance of surviving with me driving or him driving my Prius than he would if I had um, a, a bling bling um, whatever um, type of car or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, when I meet women, when I meet guys and they tell, oh, what type of car you drive? You basing, you basing my intellect or my smart or my wits based on what I have or what I drive? Then I already know you're not the person for me anyway. So I don't give a fuck about what you feel about me driving a Prius. Yes, I do drive a Prius, and it's it's a damn good reason why I drive a Prius. And um, you can say what you want. I'm saving gas, and I'm also potentially saving my life and my kids' life. That's all I got to say.